Hey, so we're just recapping on the HP35 refinish. This is the damage that the Naughty Ghost Squirrel did, uh, and this is how it came out after I repaired it all. Um, set me back quite a lot, actually, but um, I've got it back to its glory. Um, this is before I've even polished it, so um, I'm really, really happy with how the spray finish has gone with the spray cans. And so this is me... Um, masking up all the back of the guitar again um, because I don't want to get overspray on any of the back because the back's really cool. Um, so this long and tedious job of masking it all off so I can repair that damage that the naughty uh, the naughty ghost wind did. Um, I, I actually blame Fred, Freddy. I reckon Freddy ran out of there and did it. <laughs> anyway, so this is what happened. Um, I'm sanding down with a bit of 400 grit here and then I'll move on to 600 grit to get it smoother and we're back to this devastated. Do a little bit of a swirly swirly, do this for two minutes, get the colour nice and mixed in and then I'm just dusting it on. Dust it back on. This is how you spray. And for all you haters out there that called me all kinds of names, that are quite surprised how angry people are about these kind of things about me spraying outside. Um, I have no facilities to spray inside, and I'll tell you what, I'm getting great results spraying outside. This isn't a car, this is a guitar, it's a very small thing. And yes, you might get the odd bit of contamination, bit of dust, bit of this, meh, but I polish it all out anyway. And as you can see from the results I'm getting, it's great, and I'm not killing myself. Um, so there's a couple of, oh, pardon me, just dropped something on the floor. Uh, so there's a couple of spots I just wanted to sand out because uh, I wasn't happy and then I did the last bit and it looks fantastico. Really, really happy with that. And I'm spraying outside. Huh. So this is a week later. I've let that go off and I've it's actually had four coats of clear coat as well and I've let that go off. So this has been a week and it's nice and hard. Um, I haven't polished it out yet so now we're moving on to the front colour. So I've just masked all around the guitar. There's no binding on this guitar. It's just going to be a clean line from the green to the purple. Um, this took some time, but it has to be right. Um, and then I just masked off the rest so there's no overspray going to go anywhere on my lovely finish. Sanding down the primer with a bit of 400. And then I did it with a bit of 600 as well. Washed off with a bit of white spirit to get all the dust and the grease and all that kind of stuff off. And here comes the green. I've obviously shook it for two minutes and we're just dusting on. Nice and smooth like. And I just keep coming backwards and forwards. We're dusting that Hulk green, I call this. Um, straight onto that grey primer. And uh, again, I'm outside, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. If you feel you have to comment about me spraying outside, then go ahead, it's fine, it helps my video anyway. Um, but negative and abusive comments will be deleted. Uh, so this is after a couple of coats, um, letting it dry for a little time in between. And it's looking quite nice. Hey, hey, what's good, YouTube? So, that's how the HB35 refinish is coming along. Um, it looks like something from Batman, in my opinion, but it's there's still a, quite a lot of work to go yet, but I'm actually digging it. It's coming out really great. Um, so, while that's drying off, and I have run out of green paint, I should have ordered more. It needs another coat. There's, there's a little bit of grinning going on and some little things I want to polish out and stuff before I clear coat. So, uh... That's on order, so that, that is out sunbathing and drying off. Um, remember this guy, and there's a link to the video, sorry, here. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna do something with this now, so I think the first thing I'm gonna do 
is sort that headstock out. Ugh. Actually, no, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to strip it down. I'm going to take it all the bits and we're going to do something really cool with this body. You'll have to uh, wait and see what happens with that. If you subscribe and click the little dingy dongy, click my ding dong, then you might find out what's going to happen to this. But basically, the back and sides I might keep black gloss as is, even though it does have some damage, but I'm not too worried. Um, but the front is going to get stripped and something's going to happen to it. The rest of it, we'll just have to wait and see. grit sandpaper with the power sander was sanding off the finish um, it came off pretty easy down to the sealer coat uh, so yeah that was it took a few hours to get through it all but it's um, it was worth it I think get that horrible black gloss off of there and the wood underneath was surprisingly nice I'm really digging the grain on it so um, I was quite happy to discover underneath that it's quite a nice piece of wood um, so dubbed the front and then sanded it all back to you going working way up to 320 grade sandpaper and then back on the 80 grit for the back and the sides um, you do have to get all of it off uh, for this method including the sealer which is on it which you can see is on there now it's off the front but it's still yet to get it off the back and sides and that is the hardest bit to do um, with a little help from the blowtorch of course but with, this is the blowtorch method um, so it's a case of just keep burning it sanding it, burning it, sanding it until you get what you want um, very very simple thing to do this one came out particularly nice um, there are some other videos of me doing a Harley Benton kit guitars but the bodies aren't as nice as this one the only problem with this one was there was a couple, I don't know if you can see on the right side of the body there, there was some holes, but 
I'm not worried. Uh, so once I've done all that and got it to the colour I wanted, I'm just rubbing some purple ripped dye, it's like a water-based dye, into the grain. Um, I've cleaned all this up and buffed it all up beforehand. Um, all the way through the grain with the purple. Um, just working it in there. And it doesn't look like it's doing a lot, but it, when, you, when you turn it into the light, you can see the purple um, in the grey a bit. And then some green dye, just did some stripes. So it didn't cover the whole guitar in green dye, just did some stripes down. So that when it moves in the light, you get the like, little hints of green and purple. It is subtle, but it just gives it a nice little touch, I feel. don't have to do that, you can do whatever you want. Um, so that was that. And then lots and lots of coats of this acrylic varnish and just working it on there with a the rag just getting it right into all the grain all the nooks and crannies i think i did about eight coats of this it dries very fast so you can keep recoating it's just something you get from the hardware store it doesn't have to be anything spectacular but it just seals it all in and uh makes it more durable otherwise it'll just gonna rub off on your clothes isn't it nobody wants that uh, you could clear coat it if you wanted to, or you could do anything you want, but I find this works really well uh, when I do the burn effect on the guitars. Um, so yeah, very happy with how it all turned out. Um, don't forget to check out the other videos as well. It helped that it's sunny. So the sun's shining on it and helping it dry, which is really cool. And there you have it, folks. That is a complete transformation to the black gloss. Because it's nice. I wanted to go dark with this one. I, I, I kept burning and burning until I got it all dark. I wanted it dark around the back and sides like that. Splendid. see in the light what a lovely finish that gives it and here it is all dry you can see in the light all the different grain I don't know if you can see the purple and green or not but it's very subtle but you, you can in the room so I'm very very happy how it's turned out there is a kind of a plastic binding going around this body as well, which is very strange. Um, I was worried that it was going to melt, but it didn't, so it's all good. Okay, so the front of this is still bare. That is stripped right back down to its natural wood. And you will have to stay tuned or tune into the next video when I do it. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with the front of that. Um, so don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And Click my little ding dong and uh, you can stay up to date with what's going on with the Harley Benton guitar and this cool Les Paul guitar as well. So, peace. Till next time.